Hello everyone. Salam barchaga. Shunday qilib sizlar bilan birgalikda Story Club davom ettiramiz. Navbatdagi 12-hikoyamiz bu The Mean Chef. Biz o'tgan darsda mana bu bolakayni o'qigan edik. Bu darsda esa The Mean Chef, ya'ni Baxil Pavur nomli hikoyani tarjima qilib chiqamiz. Qani yoqasan boshladik. Once there was a chef who was mean to his cooks. He was mean to the people who came into it. He charged too much for meals. Many people were not able to afford the chips being dish. When his metal oven broke, he did not have it fixed. So everything baked in it burned. As only light was from candles and the whole place was a mess. Sometimes he did not pay his waiters. Since they had no funds, they had many debts. The chef behaved this way all the time. He monitored the cooks and yelled if they did not do things his way. One day, the cooks decided that they were tired of the abuse and that they would not be passive anymore. Everyone opposed the chef. At first, they thought about suing him. Instead, they tied up the chef with rope. Now they controlled the restaurant. They decreased the price of food. They used the best ingredients and made large quantities of food. They turned on, on lights. They turned on the lights. The restaurant was converted in a happy place. For the first time, many people came to eat. The chef realized that the restaurant's problems were his fault. The chef learned an important lesson. The chef learned an important lesson. The new generous chef insisted on giving the customers a free meal. The mean chef Bahal Hasis Power Chef the Gana Bosch Power the Gana. Sardar no Madame Kilada Baza. Once there was a chef who was mean to his cooks. Barwahtlar Uzuning Kaspige this again Mola Uzuning Kaspige Bahal Bulgan Bur Chef Bulgan again Bur Bosch Power Bulgan again. Cook the Gana Tauman of Sam Kilada Yani Uzuning Kaspige Uzuning Kaspigan Spatan Hasis Bulgan Bur Bosch Power Bulgan Ekan. He was mean to the people who came into it. U ovqatlanish uchun kelgan odamlarga ham bahal bo'lgan ekan. Ya'ni bahal hasis degani bir ko'ra olmaydigan, hasadgo'y, qizg'anchiq degan ma'noda keladi. <coughs> he charged too much for meals. U tom uchun juda ko'plab haq olar ekan. Many people were not able to afford the chips being dish. Ko'plab odamlar eng arzon loviya Lawiya tam uchun qobiliyatlar qurblar yetmas ekan effort degani qurbi yetmoq bin degani lawiya ya'ni narxni qimmatligidan juda ko'plab odamlar eng arzon nohat taomlarga ham qurblar yetmas ekan juda ko'plab odamlarni when his metal oven broke he did not have it fixed uning uh, uning temir metal oven broke metal oven degani uh, yuqoridan Havon tortib turadigan narsas bo'ladi-yu. Ya'ni xonada kuygan, puygan bo'lsa, ventilyatsiya tizimi. Xullas, uning temir ventilyatsiyasi buzilgan vaqtida u uni tuzatmagan edi. So everything baked in its burned. Shu sababli uning ichida uning ichida pishirilgan hamma narsa kuyib ketardi. Bake degani pishirmoq, burn degani kuyib ketmoq. Mana shu ovnni yana bir bor hozir men aniqlashtirib beraman. What does mean own in English or in Uzbek? Wait a second. Shu pech again, pech again again. Bu intelasa bas. Yani uning temer pech kiasa buzulup kolgan vaxtada. Unu tuzatma gyan ekan. Yani non pishirad gyan temer pech kiasa buzulup kolgan da. So everything baked in, baked in its burnt. Shu sabah pili unu chide pishirad gyan hama nafsa kuyub ketar gyan. The only light was from candles. Yagona yoruk. Shagamdan ekan. Candle degani sham, shagam degani. Sham chiroq ma'nolari. Sham bu kim edi? Sham chiroq. Yagona yorug'lik faqatgina shagamdan ekan. And the whole place was a mess. Va butun boshli joy tartibsiz betartib ekan. Mess degani betartib. Sometimes he did not pay his waiters. Ba'zan u o'zining ofisantlariga to'lamas ekan. 
wait degani kutma degani waiters waiter degani ofitsant since they had no funds they had many debts ularda umuman fond ya'ni o'sha miqdor pul bo'lmaganligi uchun ularning qarzlari ham ko'p ekan debt degani qarz degani ya'ni ofitsantlari oylik nomaganliklar uchun ofitsantlarning ham qarzlari debtlari ko'payib ketgan ekan as a chef behaved this way all the time bosh bovor o'zini butun vaqt mobaynida shunday tutibdi He monitored the cooks and yelled if they did not the things his way. U cook degani cook degani bu yerda endi power ma'nosidan keladi. Kasb power, ya'ni shu powerchilik kasbi, lekin hozirgi mana bu yerda power. Powerlar, oshpazlar ma'nosida kelyapti. U oshpazlarni nazorat qilar ekan va ular aytganini qilmasa, ya'ni o'zining yo'lidan yurmasa, ularga baqirar ekan. Mana bu power qo'lidagi powerlarni boshqaradi va agar ular aytganida ish qilishmasa, ularga yell baqir ekan. One day the cooks decided that they were tired of the abuse and that they would not be passive anymore. Kunlarning birida powerlar kunlarning birida powerlar haqoratdan charchaganliklarini va ular haqoratdan charchaganliklariga va ular boshqa sust bo'lmasliklariga qaror qilishibdi. Decide degani qaror qilmoq, abuse degani haqoratlanish, haqorat qilmoq. Passive degani sus degani, passive. Do not be passive dedi u. Active bor buni teskari ko'rinishi. Harakatchan degani. Everyone opposed as a chef. Hamma bosh bovorga qarshi chiqibdi. Oppose degani qarshi chiqmoq. At first they thought about suing him. Avvaliga ular uni sudga berish haqida o'ylashibdi. Instead, they tied up the chef with rope. Uning o'rniga ular bosh povorni bir arqon bilan bog'lab qo'yishdi. Arqon bilan bog'lab qo'yishdi. Tied up degani bog'lamoq, rope degani arqon. Now they controlled the restaurant. Mana endi ular restoranni boshqarishmoqda. They decreased the price of food. Ular taomning narxini tushirishibdi. Decrease degani tushirmoq. They used the best ingredients and made large quantities of food. Ular eng zo'r ingredientlar ingredientlardan foydalanib ulkan miqdordagi taomlar tayyorlashibdi. Quantity degani miqdor degani. Ingredient, ingredient degani bu ingredient tarkibiy qism. Masalan, non tarkibida misol uchun nima bor? Un bor, non tarkibida druja bor, suv bor, sutdan qilingan bo'lsa sut bor, sari yog'i bor, shu singarin tarkibiy qism yeguliklarga nisbatan. They turned on the lights. Ular chiroqlarni yoqishibdi. The restaurant was converted into a happy place. Restoran baxtli joyga aylanibdi. For the first time many people came to eat. Ilk bor natava juda ko'plab odamlar taomlanish uchun kelibdilar. The chef realized that the restaurant's problems were his fault. Bosh povor restoranning muammosi o'zining aybi, o'zining xatosi ekanligini tushunib yetibdi. Fault degani shu muvaffaqiyatsizligi, xatosi degani. The chef learned an important lesson. Bosh povor bir muhim darsni o'rganibdi. The new generous chef insist, insists on giving the customers a free meal. Yangi sahi bosh povor mijozlarga bepul ovqat berish yuzasidan bepul ovqat berishni talab qilibdi. Mijozlarga bepul ovqat berishni talab qilibdi. Insist degani bu yerda talab qilmoq ma'nosida kelyapti. Okay. Xo'p, keyin ko'rinish bu so'zlarni birga-birga tarjima qilib chiqish. Qani yoqasam boshladik. Effort. Effort degani qurbi yetmoq Ya'ni pulga nisbatan kimdir boy qurbi yetadi, kimdir kambag'al qurbi yetmaydi. Shu singarin. Bin, no'xatlovga, metal, temir, metal, bake, pishirmoq, ya'ni nonni pishirmoq ko'proq, candle, candle, sham, sham, mess, tartibsizlik, fond, fond, debt. Mana B ni o'qilmaydi, B ni o'qilmaydi, debt, qarz, monitor, monitor, kuzatmoq, monitor bor, bilasizlar, bu ekran. Monitor endi kuzatmoq fil ma'nosida abuse haqoratlamoq so'kmoq passive passive so'z pose qarshi chiqmoq mana suing bo'lib kelmaydi su bo'lib keladi s u e su sudga bermoq decrease tushirmoq ingredient ingredient tarkibiy qism quantity quantity miqdor convert o'tkazmoq fault muvaffaqiyatsizligi generous 
sahi insist talab qilmoq. Yakuniy ko'rinish butun boshqa hikoyani ingliz tilida o'qib chiqib, hikoyani yakunlaymiz. Zamin chef wants there was a chef who was mean to his cooks. He was mean to the people who came into it. He charged too much for meals. Many people were not able to afford the cheapest bean dish. When his metal oven broke, he did not have it fixed. So, everything baked in it burnt. The only light was from candles. And the whole place was a mess. Sometimes, he did not pay his waiters. Since they had no funds, they had many debts. The chef behaved this way all the time. He monitored the cooks and yelled if they did not do things his way. One day, the cooks decided that they were tired of the abuse and, they, and that they would not be passive anymore. Everyone opposed the chef. At first, they thought about suing him. Instead, they tied up the chef with rope. Now, they controlled the restaurant. They decreased the price of food. They used the best ingredients and made large quantities of food. They turned on the lights. The restaurant was converted into a happy place. For the first time, many people came to it. The chef realized that the restaurant's problems were his fault. The chef learned an important lesson. The new, generous chef insisted on giving the customers a free meal. This story is finished. See you next story. Bye for now.